Hello, today I would like to show you what you can do in case you've got a radio that have password protected code plug and you would like to reuse this radio and program with your frequencies. When you can came across a radio that have a protected code plug, if you are buying from a government X auctions and all the EMS, any public safety, they are always encrypted code plugs. For amateur radio use, this is not a problem because you are not storing anything confidential. But if you are agency, for example, you are using the privacy and you've got your encryption keys loaded to the radio, you don't want anyone to just borrow your radio for like a couple of seconds if you've got a computer like this and download the code plug and then you can read the keys or clone your radio so this is why this should prevent you from doing that if you've got a protected code plug this is not going to protect device from being stolen and reprogram this is not the point this is not like a lock on the iphone then you can put a hardware lock and no one is going to be able to use it again this is just solely to protect the content of your configuration privacy keys ip site config and so all maybe also a frequency and let's take a look so i'm connected to uh, my computer via usb and i'm trying to read the configuration and i've got the code plug password so what can we do about it First of all, we can have a second exactly the same radio. We can download the configuration and then we can try to clone it. And in most cases, that's going to be 100% fine. And we are going to end up with having two radio with the same configuration, which is going to be unlocked. But I do not have second radio, so that option for me is not available. What can we do next? Next, we can open our CPS and we can go open and we can navigate to the folder that contain a configuration stored by Motorola. I'm going to show you the path. This is the path for the folder. They are sample configuration. This is like a template that you can reuse they they've got some kind of basic frequency basic configuration and you can start building your configuration using this but if you are notice dp2400 and i've got a dp2400e and i do not have a blank code like for this so this of course won't work what can we do next the next option is the last option is we can do a recovery so we go to the device and we hit recovery but it's going to fail and yes i'm, I'm going to show you this for a reason because i would like to show you how to resolve the problems and we've got this communicate that we do not have uh, a firmware for this radio. How to resolve this problem? We need to install the firmware update package. And this is, oh sorry, this is how the file looks like. And yes, this is quite a, a beefy file. And I'm going to install it. Then we are going to read a uh, configuration of the of the radio by using the Moto Turbo Tuner and then we are going to do recovery. As you can see installation of the new firmware package went successfully and now we can go to the Moto Turbo Tuner. This application will allow us to read the config from the radio that contain a alignment data 
this is something that you are only going to touch if you are uh, authorized 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 service provider for uh, motorola you never going to touch anything inside that config but this config is tied directly to the particular radio this is have like a frequency offset from the oscillators so you are going to never touch it but it's extremely important to back it up because if anything go wrong then you cannot restore this you can only go to the authorized service and they need to hook up the radio to the to the equipment testing and they need to make a readjustment for this radio so this is not something that you can download from the internet and we have to back it up cps 2.0 make this automatically you do not have to make any anything uh, manually give it a second and we are going to so here is a uh, information of our radio and if we go if we go down we've got the firmware code plug and when it was programmed and i'm going just to hit save and i'm going to go to the desktop i'm going to call it the dp2400 uh, e alignment or maybe we just call it a tune okay this is keep in mind this is specific for this radio you cannot duplicate it from the other one let's see do we have a copy yes this is our very important file and now we can go back to the cps let's open the cps and we can now do the recovery because we've got this package that I show you installed we are going to update the firmware and at the same time we are going to do the recovery and we are going to get a blank code plug so we are going into the device recover and we should get a nice window where we can select the desired firmware and i'm pretty sure it will work it must work i was done that many times this way i rescue multiple radios and you use that also when you cannot program radio or when the code plug is corrupted recovery will fix most of these problems and yeah, please it must work it must work because we are recording a video and i don't want to shoot it i don't want to reshoot it it must work i will buy a faster computer for the for the videos i promise that I'm pretty sure they are talking to to the radio and yeah it will work no worries it must work it must work and yes of course it's working and we are going to select the code plug here. Or where do we click it? Yes, I'm going to hit here. And now we can select the code plug, the firmware. And we've got the code plug, just like that. And we hit OK and what you can see you may need to retune 
the radio with motor turbo tuner. This is why we are make a copy of that config. I'm going to hit yes. And let's see what will happen. Because the what will happen will be a uh, good for us. And as you can see, we've got a recover device successful. I'm going back to the our tuner data and I'm going to upload this. I'm not sure if it's necessary. The CPS 2.0 is doing that automatically. You do not have to worry about backing that up. And the firmware update, they are going to load that and upload in the background. But I'm going to load it manually just to just to make sure. And I'm going to hit right. And we are uploading the alignment configuration. They are the radio specific. And it's a success. Now we can go back to the CPS. I'm pretty sure the radio is going to reboot. Okay, I'm going to open the CPS. And we are going to read the code plug and I'm going to save this as a default code plug for the future, just in case I, I will have the same problem, then I won't need to do all the tricks and I'm going to hit the read and guess what are we going to get a question about the password I don't think so I think we are going to just nicely load our blank conf code plug And here you go, your radio is blanked, unlocked, we can read and write without any problem. We updated the firmware and I'm going just to make a copy as I told you, just hit save. I'm going to go to the desktop. This looks like a good name. I'm going to upload this. And the last thing that we are going to do is we go to the review and to the expert and to the security. And we are going to 
make a default privacy key to the known, that's correct. But here is the RSA key and I'm going to I'm going to delete it just like this. And we can save it and I can try to write it to the radio. And will it work? I'm pretty sure it must work. And yes, of course, it's working just fine. And we can now... Let me grab that slider. Yes, it's restarting. That's fine. We program this. Write device successfully. But I would like go to the to the frequency in the channel one. And we can we can change the receive frequency from the to the for example four four six Yes, I would like to write it. And yes, so this is how you do it. Now you've got a uh, fully unlock your Motorola radio and you can do anything you want. So yes, thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye. And yes. Yes, 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 it will end up as a success. Just let the radio restart. And yes, it's success. So bye bye.